Okay, let's do some basic stuff in AutoCAD um, to draw in 3D. So first thing you want to do is up in here, in this area here, if you had, it says drafting and annotation. If you don't even have that, it might not be there. So go ahead and click this little down arrow. You want to check that it says workspace right here. So check the workspace and kind of let that be, uh, it needs to be checked so we can have this up here. So that should pop up there. So now it'll say drafting and annotation here. Then you click this and change this to 3D modeling. All right. So now we're in the 3D modeling mode. It changes some stuff. I'm going to go ahead and plant my, my um, or pin my command line down here to the bottom so it's out of the way and I can see everything that's going on. That's the first thing. So the next thing we're going to do is we would, you could, uh, or what we added here were these three things. Here's where the draw ribbon is and the modify ribbon. All the stuff we've been using already is in here. Um, so next thing I want you to do is go ahead and click the home button. You're going to see it changes this so it's now isometric. And the X plane is here and the Y plane goes this way. So X is this way, Y is that way. You can only draw in the X, Y plane and then you extrude and do other things in the Z direction. So to get started, and we're going to start by doing this, we're going to click on line and we'll go this way and I'm just going to show you so we'll go five this way we'll go five that way five this way and C to close and I'm also going to do another one that's a polyline so I'll do that over here and go five this way five this way five this way and C to close alright so at that point we're going to try something new we're going to um, extrude these and I'm going to click on click extrude and uh, do a crossing over these. I want to extrude those four lines. Right click and enter and I'll move them up and move it in the upward direction and put in five. So now I've got this thing that looks like a cube with this grid on it that's um, that uh, we just extruded out of there. Notice that each side of this is highlighted separately right and we want it to be a solid because that doesn't work out that way so if I extrude this and I can pick one thing, right click, enter, move it upward, so my base point goes up, and put that in five, and that's different. So this looks like a hexagon there that has these lines going across the center, but you can see as I move this a little bit that it's not really a hexagon with lines. It's a cube um, that's in there. So let's change this. We're going to go to view, and uh, we'll go up here to this, this part here where it says 2D wireframe. We've got these other options to change our visual style. And if we do something like these all do different things that change the way something looks. But if you change this conceptual, you'll see that this is a solid block right there. But if we change this to the top view, that I can see right through to the bottom of this. Uh, through that. So this right here, this thing that we just created, is absolutely useless to us. We can't do anything with it. So I'm going to go ahead and change this back to 2D wireframe. I'm going to click erase and do a crossing and get rid of those things right there because I can't do anything with it. Right? If you need to kind of move things around a little bit, it's okay. Um, to make it so you can view things a little bit better um, and that's okay I, most of the time I don't but I'll do this because I'm making the video <clears throat> remember you can only draw on the XY plane and this right here the top up here is the XY plane the bottom is also the XY plane and I want to center a circle right in this part right here so let's go here we're going to click on circle there's circle and we'll do a circle center diameter and I'll pick this point um, and draw this out this way now um, I'm going to put a two inch diameter there and uh, put that in. Now what you might find is that there's a little button right down here. This button right here is um, it snaps your UCS to certain planes and it can mess, mess things up. If that doesn't show up, go to the three buttons right here, click on this and come up to the one where it says dynamic UCS, check that and then come back here and look for this. If that's on like this, you're in trouble. So you don't want that to be on, right? So if that didn't work, now go back and do this again. Um, uh, so you want to click click back up here, click on WCS, and so that's going to be our world plane looking down on the top, and we're drawing a circle right there on the top, okay? Okay, so now, let me redo that one more time. So I'll draw, click on circle, go circle center diameter. I'm going to go to this midpoint, right click, and draw that out too, all right? Then what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and click move, and I'm going to move this circle. I'll select that circle, right-click with the mouse, click that endpoint. I'm going to logically, I'm going to pick this line right here that I can see the center, and that puts it right in the middle, right? Right in the middle of it. If we were looking at this view right here, it would look like that was on the center line back there, and um, those are two different places. So let me show you what happens. If I draw a circle right here, and I'll make this one three, I draw it on that midpoint. It looks like it's in the same spot with that diameter right through there. 
but let's move this a little bit. You'll see where that's not in the same spot. It's on that back line. So if I click extrude, right, I'm gonna, I want to extrude this. Let's say I'll extrude this down. I'm just going to make it 10 inches because it's got to go out the bottom. You could do the same thing with the other one. Extrude this one 10 inches and make it ten, you know, that way so it goes out that way. But you can see really if you clicked on front, you see what happens here. You click this way, you would see what happens, that this one is in the wrong spot. We want it to go right through the middle of that cube. Um, so you got to be really careful when you're doing this. All right. So the next thing is to make this hole that goes through there. Let's click on this right here. You can see what that how that changes. We'll go back to this part right here, 2D wireframe, and uh, in this section here we do solid editing, and so this part is where we subtract. If you hover over this for a second, you'll notice that it says right, um, right here, oh, it says right in the middle part there, um, I'll let you read it for a second, it says there, select the objects that you want to keep, press enter, and then select the objects that you don't, that you want to subtract. So when you click on this object, so I'm going to click subtract, click the object I want to keep, I'm going to right click with my mouse, right, and then it says what do I want to subtract, and then I'll subtract that. Now I have a hole through the center, and you can see it by clicking on this part right here. All right, so I've got a hole through the center. Okay, I'll click back to home, 2D wireframe. Now if we want to draw a circle, say, on this front face over here, we have to change our UCS. So now you type in the word UCS and hit enter, and type in X, enter, and then 90, enter. And you'll notice that it changes the UCS. Oops, somehow or another, I messed that all up. Let me undo that. I'm going to type in UCS, enter, X, enter, 90, enter. All right, so my UCS now, the X and Y are parallel to this plane, all right, which is what we want to do. So I'll click circle, put a circle right here on this midpoint. Even though I want it to be in the middle, I'm going to put it on this midpoint here because I'm positive that it's there. Put two, and then when I move it, I'll move it from click that right click I'm gonna click this point right here and go to this midpoint so it puts that right in the center of that face when I extrude this back I'm gonna click extrude and I'll go back 10 and that's there and I can subtract from this right click this so that's it so that's the what we've got there okay now if you're having some issue like your UCS is in the middle of your thing you could type in UCS icon right and you don't want to turn it off you always want to see it but click on no origin so it goes down it'll snap down here in the bottom corner and that's where you want stuff to be now the next thing we want to do is draw a circle on this face over here on this side and extrude it through the part but so this time we'll rotate around our UCS icon we're going to type in UCS we're going to universal coordinate system we're going to manipulate it and we're going to do around the Y axis this time so you type Y or click Y right here and hit enter and then type in 90 and enter and now the UCS changes so it goes this way so now we're ready to do a circle I'm gonna pick a spot I can do this circle that's fine right here do two and then when I click to move it I'll move this from there I'm gonna go that's what I want to do so my base point is gonna be this end point here to that midpoint right there so now it's in the center when I extrude this through it's going to go all the way all the way through. I don't care how long it is because I'm going to subtract that whole thing from this, this, and I get that shape right there. So that's what it looks like. Double click on my mouse wheel to do the zoom the extents. And we'll do changes to conceptual. We can see what's going on. So we've got this whole thing that's got these holes all through it and what it looks like. So you just created a, a block um, that has uh, three holes in it. We're going to click Save and you'll save it as a block or something like that you go on and create a pdf file if we were submitting that but that's it um that's the the, the basis of how we're getting things to doing it's really about manipulating your ucs i might put my ucs back to world there um for now so okay um any other questions now you can ask me about them